Hey, welcome to Maximum Bat Speed. I want to do this video here with Sierra Romero doing some soft toss. And I want to get into detail in this video why Sierra has such a powerful swing and things that she's doing in her swing that if you watch this video here, you can see that she is definitely at a, an elite level when it comes to hitting mechanics. And hopefully you can apply some of the things that she's doing in this particular video to get you to another level, help you to be a better player. So let's get started here. First thing I want to show you here is this. Now, as she gets into her swing right here, it's very important to understand that you start with very athletic lower body mechanics and you have a very athletic upper body mechanics. So you can see with Sierra when she's right here set up and just playing this game right here and getting ready to hit, that her body looks very athletic athletic and you can see with her lower body right here how beautifully she uses her lower body and now watch how she gets into her heel plant how beautifully she squats right into that ground force using her heel plant beautifully therefore to create maximum velocity as she's getting into her heel plant just doing a lot of beautiful things right here another thing that's going on with her swing right here pay attention to what's going on with her pullback as she gets into her swing it's obvious that she's letting her back elbow work back and behind her and this is very important when it comes to power it's very very important when it comes to creating torque and separation between the lower and upper body. So this is just beautiful. That along again with the lower body mechanics is going to allow you to produce tremendous power through the ball. Another thing that's going on right here with her with her back elbow again, like I just mentioned, it's allowing her to get tremendous separation when she gets into her toe chest. And by that I mean this. You can see here if I draw a line from her shoulders going down that her shoulders are pointing to the second basement at this stage. It just shows me that she's getting great great pullback, great resistance into her swing, and as she gets into her heel plant, watch what's going on right here. It's just, again, watch how beautifully she's using that ground force right there. It's almost like she's squatting into the ground. Again, this is going to give you tremendous ground force to let you maximize your full velocity of your bat when you're applying pullback and resistance and using that ground force. It's just going to give you tremendous whip through the ball. Now again, she's going to get here at heel plant right here and watch what's going on here. Here she is at heel plant and you can see even at this stage of the swing, her shoulders are still pointing to the second baseman. Many times at heel plant, I see players that their shoulders are pointing to the pitch or even to the third baseman. This should not occur and the way you fix that is by applying tremendous pullback, tremendous separation. Now she starts to get into her hip rotation and I bring this up in my videos all the time. Watch how her elbow starts to work up to the height of the mouth as she gets into the point of contact right here just beautiful angles right there and you can see here the angles that she's producing right here are classic elite point of contact angles right right there with the elbow right to the height of the mouth and right there you have the barrel below the hands hitting like 90 degrees behind the ball giving you just the opportunity to get full barrel on the ball and by doing this also it's going to allow you to hit to the ball and through the ball with tremendous power and again watch where the elbow is right there by the height of the mouth this is crucial for you to be able to play the game at the highest level and again you can see here what's going on with her swing and this is very important to understand that when you get into your swing you must have great pullback and resistance going on even into your heel plant so that you can have that separation between the lower and upper body also that's going to allow you to have the opportunity to have this beautiful bat path through the ball and by that I mean this you can see here it's very obvious that she's cutting right around the corner of her deltoid with her hands giving you the opportunity to hit any pitch that comes your way gives you the freedom to use your body to the fullest as far as your lower body and your upper body working together this is crucial now this is not something that she thinks about this is all a cause and effect the better your pullback the better your resistance the better you're going to have a better hand path again the better the resistance the better the pullback and with that along with using the ground force better you're going to naturally get this beautiful hand path through the ball and letting the elbow work up to the height of the mouth hitting to the ball and through the ball, it's going to give you beautiful extension through the ball. When you apply these kind of mechanics, it's going to allow you to have the proper extension so that you don't leak your load to the left. You don't leak your power to the left at all. In other words, you can see here, and I'm going to just draw some lines for you here, and this is very important to understand. If I draw an arrow right here where her elbow is pointing, I'm going to go here about five frames. Watch. One, two, three, four, five 
five frames right there and you can see that her elbow has hardly moved at all now pay attention focus on her elbow here I'm going here quite a few frames now the reason you want to do this is this is going to allow you to hit to the ball and through the ball in other words not leaking any of your power to the left you're using all your momentum of the force of the swing going to the ball and through the ball but you cannot let your elbow leak over to the left many times at lower levels I see this occurring you can see here with Sierra how beautifully she gets to the point right there again watch her elbow she's going to allow her elbow to stay there for quite a few frames therefore not leaking any of her energy to the left now what I do when I'm working with students and I, this is very important to understand and I would highly recommend for you to do this if you're a coach if you're a parent set up a T and what I would do with your students just have them go through this everything I just mentioned with you and just have them finish to the point where they're just like this notice how her arm is fully extended right there what this will do is right here you should have what Sierra does has right there you can see that her lead arm is fully extended right there and again even though her her right arm has a slight little bent lead uh, bent arm right there that's not that's not going to create any problems but what I want to see right here is make sure that that lead arm is fully extended with the barrel pointing down with the elbow again I cannot emphasize this enough you want the bear, your elbow your lead elbow right here pointing or your forearm tricep area pointing in this manner right here so that you can hit to the ball and through the ball this is going to allow you to have an elite extension through the ball like Sierra now a apply everything I just mentioned to you okay the, the pullback the resistance again that with using the lower body correctly is going to allow you to hit to the ball and through the ball and be able to have this elite kind of extension right here now if you're going to do this with your student or a child or someone I would recommend for you to stand right behind them put your palm right there by the tricep area so that they cannot allow their elbow to leak over to the third base side you want to have it right there that's going to help you to hit the ball just like Sierra's doing right here. Now this video right here should help you to understand some of the basics, some of the fundamentals of how to build your swing from the ground up. Again, it all starts with the lower body, making sure you have good balance, making sure you're getting good pullback. And again, that with the resistance, even into your heel plan, is going to give you beautiful back path. Let the elbow work up to the height of the mouth. As you get to the point of contact, hit to the ball and through the ball, not letting your elbow leak over to the left. Again, I cannot emphasize that enough. That's going to give you this beautiful extension like you see here with Sierra. Now I did a two hour and 45 minute video explaining all this in great detail to help you to help your child, your students to build a swing from the ground up. I also do online video analysis which I go into great detail on how to build a swing and giving you drills, specific drills to your specific swing flaws. Again, I'm here to help you always once you purchase any of my plans. I'm always here for free consultations. I hope you learned something here about about, about Sierra's beautiful swing right here and some of the things she does in her swing to hopefully help you to apply what she does to get you to a higher level. Please give me a like if you enjoy this video, if you learned something. Have a great day.